Hello everyone. Welcome to another session of Grade 9 Mathematics. Today we'll be dealing with Chapter 12, Heron's Formula, Part 1, Introduction. Dear students, we have learned about different type of triangles in our previous grades, such as the equilateral triangle, the isosceles triangle, and the scalene triangle. Are we missing any type of triangle over here? Think about it. Yes, we missed the right angle triangles, which has got 90 degree as one of its angle. Dear students, let it be any type of triangle, such as scalene, isosceles, equilateral, or say right angle triangle, the only formula that we have come across in our previous grades to find the area of triangle is half into base into height, wherein you should be aware of the measure of the base of the triangle as well as the perpendicular height of the triangle. Now, if you compare the triangles with quadrilaterals, each quadrilateral has its own specific formula to find its area. Isn't it unfair with the triangles that all the triangles have only one formula and that is half into base into height. Irrespective, the triangle is isosceles, scalene, right angle triangle or equilateral triangle. Let me ask a question. Say you have been asked to find the area of this triangular plot as shown in the figure. Here, the measures of the three sides are given as 4 km, 5 km and 6 km respectively. The question is, will you be able to find the area of this rectangular region just with the help of the formula half into base into height? Maybe it would be difficult. Because over here, the perpendicular height of this triangular region is not given. What would you do now? The same question fascinated another great applied mathematician named Heron back in 10 AD. He came up with another formula which in his honor is known as the Heron's formula to find the area of triangle. He said all that is required to find the area of triangle is the measure of the length of the three sides of a triangle. Here the perpendicular height is not required. So in short, if you know the length of the sides of the triangle, you will be able to find the area of the triangle using his formula known as the Heron's formula. Now, according to Heron's formula, the area of triangle can be found by the formula under root S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Dear students, Heron's formula is just not limited to find the area of the triangles. It can also be used to find the area of different quadrilaterals as every quadrilateral can be divided into two triangles diagonally. Now let us try to understand the Heron's formula in detail. Now to understand the Heron's formula let us consider a triangle. Say the length of the measure of the sides of the triangle are given as A, B and C. The very first thing that you have to do to find the area using Heron's formula is to find the value of S. Here, S stands for the semi-perimeter of the triangle. We know what is perimeter. Perimeter is basically the sum of the three sides of a triangle. Semi-perimeter is actually half of that. So, semi-perimeter of the triangle can be obtained by adding the three sides and then dividing the answer by 2. So once you get the value of semi-perimeter, all that you have to do is put the values in this Heron's formula. 
So S stands for semi-perimeter of the triangle, which can be obtained by dividing the perimeter with 2. Or in other words, half of perimeter is semi-perimeter. So the value of S can be put in the formula. Now, what is A, B and C? A, B and C are the measures of the three sides of the triangle, which would be known to you. So all that you have to do is put the value of semi-perimeter in the given equation as well as the value of A, B and C, which are the three sides of the triangle. So in this way, you can actually find the area of triangle. This is all about Heron's formula. So my dear students, I hope you have understood why is the need to learn the Heron's formula and the Heron's formula itself. Kindly learn the Heron's formula well so that we can actually apply it to solve a few problems in the next session when we meet. Till then, take care. Thank you.